you say you want commitment from him. And what I'm trying to say to you is when people show you who they are, believe them. If you want to be single, then just be single. And if you want to be in a committed relationship, choose someone who's not going to cheat. Here is today's case. Mariah needs to respect my five-year plan. Eric has a fear of commitment, and he needs to get over that today. And I know his best friend Nas covers up his cheating. Mariah thinks my best friend Nas is my alibi, but I don't need an alibi because I'm not in the wrong. I don't think I can stay in this relationship if he doesn't compromise. If she doesn't respect the process, she's got to go. I hope Judge Faith really talks some sense to him today, because if she doesn't, I'm done. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Hunt versus Craig. Thank you, Juan. Eric Hunt. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mariah Craig. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. The two of you have been in a relationship for the last three years, living together for two years, and you're having a number of problems. Yes, Your Honor. And you are countersuing, ma'am, for $946.16. You say he owes you for a flight to Bali that you paid for. Yes, Your Honor. And I understand you have a witness with you today, sir, Mr. Nasir Jones. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, thank you for being here, sir. I'll call you shortly. Let's start with you, Mr. Hunt. Give me some background on your relationship and why the two of you have ended up in divorce court. Okay, Your Honor. So, first off, let me start by saying I love Mariah. We've traveled together. We've gone all over the world. I want to have a family with her. Mm -hmm. I just need time. I feel like we're very young, and I feel like... We both need time to, like, figure ourselves out and find ourselves at least just five years. I have a five-year plan. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't want to respect that. And I need that in order for me to go forward so I don't have any regret in my life. Miss Craig, what is your response to that? I feel like five years is a long time, you know? We change every month. We change every day. Five years, who knows what could happen with that. So, you know, I love him too, but that's too long. Give me some background on the relationship. How'd the two of you meet? Well, Your Honor, um, you know, we're in a new age, so he slid in my DMs on Instagram. Okay. And at the time, it was business-related, mm -hmm. but then... Uh, but they did... all say that initially. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't end up working out business, and I feel like that kind of opened the door. DMs were open, and then one day, I don't remember the conversation, but he was like, my number works too, and then mm -hmm. that was a wrap. And this, you say, is business-related. What were you doing for work at the time? I was modeling, Your Honor. And, and you, he sir? was doing... I do music videos, Your Honor. So, you say you're on this five-year plan. You, you are young, 25 years old. Did the, does the plan start now? Or when did the five-year plan start? And what is the plan? So, initially, we were in an open relationship, Your Honor. Hmm. Um, we were trying something different just so that way we could both kind of, like, still have each other, but also have our freedoms. Mm -hmm. And so, that didn't necessarily work out. Really? So, Why is that? What happened? There are rules to the open relationship, and so we broke the rules. Who, I mean, whose idea was it to have an open relationship? It was my idea. It was your idea. You went along with it. Is that what you wanted? At the time, Your Honor, it was cool, you know, but here we are three years later, mm -hmm. and what, what is slow anymore? Who, who set the ground rules for the open relationship? We, we agreed on the ground rules, Your Honor, but... And you submitted those to court today? We did, but I would just like to add in, I don't personally feel like I violated those rules until he violated them. Okay. So, no side relationships. So, yeah, first of all, no side relationships. So, that means don't have what we have on the side. You're not talking to anybody else, like, permanently. It's kind of like a one-and-done thing, mm -hmm. which brings me to the next rule, which is, like, one-and-done, which means... Don't be linking up with people time and time again because that's essentially another relationship. No exes. Obviously, you don't want to rekindle any flames. Like, we don't want you... Which he violated. Yeah, I mean, it Let's go happened. through the rules. And then protect yourself. Like, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that you wrap it up or whatever it is. And then don't discuss. Just keep it to yourself. I don't want to know. And you both agreed to the rules. She ended up getting jealous. But again, we're young, and I feel like I've expressed that I do have love for her mm -hmm. and that I do love her, and I've shown time and time again that I'm a man of my word. So I feel like, you know, I should be able to have that freedom at least. Well, who broke the rules? 
I broke the rules. Your well, Honor. you just said you were a man of your word, so you should have the freedom. So how'd you end up breaking the rules? So I, I broke the rules. I did the ex <laughs> thing. And I think that... The big one. You hooked it, up with it, one of your exes? I did. A significant one. Your Honor. I definitely did. Did you tell her? Did she find out on her own? So she found out on her own. She ended up going through my computer, mm. which is another one of the rules. We had like a do not express what happens behind closed doors kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So like, it surprised me that she would go as far as to try to dig and find out what we agreed we didn't want to know. So you're upset because she broke the rules to find out that you broke the rules. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, essentially. Yes, Your Honor. So then you find that out, and what happens? At that point, Your Honor, I was very frustrated, so I confronted him and just made him come clean on everything because mm -hmm. I realized, yes, we weren't supposed to discuss things. That was one of the rules, but I feel like when you're in an open situation, you need to have open communication. Was so... this the first time you were in an open relationship? Yes. Miss Craig, this was his idea. I understand that, but you would you had really preferred that it had been something else, but you just went along with it? Your Honor, I feel at the time we both did get out of relationships, yes. mm -hmm. so at the time it was cool. But again, when so but much... But it changed yeah. as time went on. Right, so much time goes on and you just expect it to be the same. It's... She knew mm -hmm. from the beginning. What happened? How did you break the rule with someone? She's chilling with some girl, like just boot up. You know what I'm saying? That like cuddling. We were just sitting there. So you think that she is... I'm trying is... to be cool because it's TV. So Miss Craig. Yes, Your Honor. Were you there Netflix and chilling that night? How did you break the rule with someone? Who wants to tell me about that? I'm a music producer as well. Mm -hmm. I make beats. I work for a lot of different artists, so I go to the studio often. So I'm sitting there with her at the apartment. She's saying that she's got all these things to do. Her friend is coming over. So she told me she was tired. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to come to the studio with me, but she said she was tired. So I said, OK. I okay, just went to the ex, studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get to the studio. I literally get an email to my phone saying that somebody is watching a movie, your purchase for $4.99 has gone through. Mm -hmm. So I sent her a text. I'm like, okay, so, like, are you watching a movie? I thought you were tired. Like, what are you still doing up? Like, she said, I don't know anything about a movie. What movie? Oh, yeah, I don't know what All you're right. talking about. So I dropped back by the apartment. I get in there. She's chilling with some girl, like, just booed up, just watching the same movie. <laughs> that she didn't know anything about. And was it, it just a friend? She tried we to play it cool. Yeah, it she was She tried to friend. like come outside and be on some like, oh, hey, what's up? Like just acting like it didn't happen. Well, how do you Mind know you. How do you know it was more than a, so, just a friendship going here's, on? Here's my thing is like, if you were just friends with somebody, you wouldn't have to lie, number one, mm -hmm. first and foremost. Secondly, they, they were chilling. You know what I'm saying? That like cuddling. We were just like, sitting it there. Was like, he's, he's really doing too much. I'm right not now. dragging it, Your Honor. So you think that she is. I'm trying is... to be cool because it's TV. But they were. No, still... he's doing too much. He's doing way too much. So, it was what not do you like say that. you saw? It looked intimate. Let's just put it that way. It looked more intimate so than Ms. what Craig, she So, Miss Craig. Yes, Your Honor. Were you there, Netflix and chilling that night? We were just watching a movie. It was nothing. Like, everything he said, way too much. Cause... Why did you tell him that you didn't know anything? about what he was talking about when he got the notification that you'd order a movie. <sighs> Why'd you tell him that? I told him that because at the time, he left this out, this is really big. So we were not on good terms because he did something he shouldn't have done. Mm -hmm. And at the time, we didn't talk for like a week or so, and he decided to just come back and be all, oh, I'm sorry. Not, here's some flowers, or let me make a grand gesture, just, See, oh, I'm I sorry. Was the night, so the evening the, where the I... two of you have all, uh, all these rules, none of them are really working out for you. But this is curious. Why do you say she lied when, according to the rules, mm -hmm. she wasn't breaking one of the rules? So... Even if she had been doing more than just watching a movie. So we were in a serious relationship at this time. I had already met. Oh, so up. the rules had already been... This is... Out of the window. Yes, Your Honor. So now you're in a committed relationship. Your Honor, that was yes? a week of us being not together. It could all be so simple. It could all be so simple, but it's never that simple when you 
open yourselves up to complicated situations and entanglements. This is true. Right. Your Honor, so. I do want to throw in there, he also flew a girl out while we were together and thought that he could hide things like that. So he's not just Mr. saying that it could all be so simple. Was this he had pre me and someone else. Was this pre thing. or post the rules? This one's post. Okay. So, post the rules, you flew somebody out and hooked up with them? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so y'all just don't even care if you have rules or not. You just do what you want to do. So you've been together for three years. You say you have this five-year rule. Yes. So is it, is it a total of eight years that you plan on waiting before moving forward? I'm just waiting until I could at least get to, like, at least be 30. Like, you have so many different years of your so life. So five more years, because you're 25 now. Yeah. You've been yeah. together three years? Yes. Now you say you have a five-year rule? So we're on an eight-year plan. Why is Mr. Jones here today? He is my witness. She feels like I'm the, the culprit, sort of, like, to get him out the house. So when you're out, do you see him flirting and talking to other women? The club scene, it's a, it's a place to network. Is that a yes me. or a no, or are you just not going to answer that question? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Why is Mr. Jones here today? And he's here because he's my witness to the nonsense. Let's hear from Mr. Jones and see exactly what testimony he's here to offer the court. Mr. Jones? Your Honor? Yes, thank you for being here today, sir. You are Nasir Jones. I understand you are friends with Mr. Hunt. What have you observed in this relationship and what do you want to testify about today? Well, Your Honor, what I've observed is really me and Eric, we go way back 10 plus years since the sandbox. So I know this man, he's a good man, he's an honest man. And he knows what he wants. He communicates. Except for those two times he admittedly broke the rules. Okay. Your Honor, His I'm own not rules. entirely involved in their relationship, mm -hmm. but I know that he is an honest man. He's always very upfront. Mm -hmm. What is the issue that you believe she has with you? I believe she, she feels like I'm the, the culprit, sort of, like, to get him out the house mm -hmm. and uh, have him, you know, talking to all these different types of women and everything. But really, Eric, he's the one he's... He's the life of the party, but he just wants to make sure everybody is having a good time, everybody's safe, everybody's good, you know. So, so when you're out with Mr. Hunt, do you see him flirting and talking to other women? The club scene, it's a, it's a place to network. So it's usually a group of us. We all go out. It's not just me and him. That's the other thing. It's is not just me. Is that a yes me. or a no? Or are you just not going to answer that question? Yeah, but, you going to act like no. I never I asked that I can't, question? I can't verify if it's flirting or not because really the club scene is like you network, you meet new people. You, you get information. He's just being friendly. Wait, right. he's networking. I mean, is he still going to corner all it. night and not say anything? You know, like... Your Honor, okay. can I say a few things? Mm -hmm. She has a tracking device on my phone. Mm. Like, it's really out of control. Like, I can't go anywhere. She be seeing where I'm going. And when we go out, I just be holding it down. If my friends... If, it, if there's a group of girls by the bar, I'm going to be the one that's going to, hey, how you doing? Let us buy you some drinks. This my boy Nas, blah, blah, blah. But that's really it. I initiated So you're initiated. just trying to introduce Nas to new people. Right. How's I'm that not... worked out for you, Mr. Jones? Have you met some people? Pretty well. Been here in Atlanta for about a year, so it's been working out pretty well. And so I don't really know that much people. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I pop out with him, it's really my only chance to really get out and really network okay. and meet new people. Do you feel like Miss Craig is being insecure? Yes. Definitely, Your Honor. I mean, and there's been times where, like, he's even had to record himself, like, of me talking to girls to just tell her, like, so you think I'm not doing anything, you know? Miss Craig being upset about is just her being insecure. Yes, I Your mean, Honor. Not like, thank you, thank you like... Mr. Jones. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Your Honor. I appreciate I... your unbiased and objective testimony today. <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> Your Honor, let me just Very say, helpful. say one you thing. You have... Let, no, because Mr. Jones has cracked this case wide open. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I would just like to point out... Why is it that if you're networking to get Nasir some girls, Your Honor, how does it make sense to have a group of girls for one man Nas? I'm just wondering what happens to those other girls, what he's doing. Miss Craig, well, Miss Craig, let me tell you something. You have, to, you have to ask yourself that, Miss Craig. If you're gonna be on this plan for another five years, what you can't do is sit around and feel like you have to track and wonder and wish 
and hope about what's happening. I want to get to the $946.16 that you say you're suing for. Why do you say he owes you money for a flight? Your Honor, at the time, we were planning a vacation to Bali for my birthday, and he was right next to me on my laptop, watched me press the purchase button, getting the tickets together. And then, fast forward some months later, we go on the trip, everything is lovely, and now he feels like because he spent money on my birthday trip that he doesn't owe me for the ticket because of the money that he spent. Well, but, was there an agreement, ma'am, that he would purchase the flight or reimburse you for the ticket? Yes. There was an agreement? Yes, Your Was Honor. that an agreement, sir? Yes, it, it was an agreement. Okay, That's so why haven't you paid her the $946 back? I paid for so many things on the trip. She mm -hmm. had two Airbnbs, mm -hmm. one in the jungle, one over in the city, there was one that was like a nice modern kind of setup. But all that stuff was expensive. And she did pitch in, but... You were spending your were, own money. I was putting things no, out there so that way. Okay. I've heard enough. So, so, I've heard enough. I simply asked the question, did, you, did the two of you agree about this particular plane ticket? Because of what it really is is a verbal contract. If you come in court today and told me there was no agreement, it was just a part of the plan that she would pay for the plane ticket, then I'd say, okay, it's a wash. But it doesn't matter how much money you spent in Bali. We are simply talking about $946.16 for a flight that you agreed to pay her back for. You agreed to pay her back, sir, so you owe her the money. And I don't want to hear about you have five years to pay it back because you want a five-year plan. You owe her this money now. So when you leave court today... <laughs> Run her, her $946.16. Now, as for the relationship, the two of you started out, Ms. Craig, you agreed to something that you really didn't want to do in your heart of hearts from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Juan, how many times have we seen this? Uh, plenty of times, plenty. It's the good old switcheroo. It all sounds good in theory in the start, but in practice, it blows up right in front of you. You have set forth what you... What is your five-year plan? Listen, I commend you for the fact that you're saying, I am not ready to be married. When someone tells you they are not ready to be married, the last thing you want to do is try to convince them to settle down and move forward with marriage, with kids, when it's really not what they want to do. Your Honor, let me just... Nope, we're done. We're done. No last words? No, no last words. <sighs> I give the last words, and I just gave them to you. So you have a decision you want to make. He said there is a five-year plan. Eight. It was a five-year time period. Years. He said there is a five-year time period on an eight-year plan. So you have to decide what you want to do with the next five years of your life. Do you want to wait or do you want to move on? You're 25 years old. You have the right to make a decision. I'm not going to disparage him for saying, I want to wait five years. When people tell you, you got to listen to what they say. He's telling, he's speaking his truth. So I just ask you to listen and you make your decision accordingly. But $946.16, you owe her that now. That is my judgment. Good luck to both of you. I'm not willing to throw this diamond away. I want to make sure that I keep my relationship. I just want to be able to have my time. That's all I'm asking for. Actions speak louder than words. So with that being said, I feel like Maybe Eric needs to figure out what it is that he really means. I kind of need to also figure some things out because a lot of stuff went unsaid. I'm going to go ahead and pay this little check. It's only $900. And then we'll see what happens from there. There absolutely can be a future um, with us. I just feel like she just needs to figure out what she wants. I feel like the future really just depends on the behavior of Eric.